All right guys, Matt here from BuiltRight Industries. Today we're gonna to show you how to install the BuiltRight Industries rear seat release kit. Um, this will work for an 09 to current F-150 Super Crew. Uh, the 09 to 14 models will use two kits and the 15 plus models will use one kit just on the driver's side. So we'll go ahead and start off by showing you what's in the box. You're gonna have a, uh, a set of written instructions here. It's pretty basic. You can also refer to our website if you need uh, uh, more detailed instructions, of course, we'll link to both of those in the description. You're also going to find a latch pull. And this is our little uh, uh, red anodized aluminum bracket with a sewn-on heavy-duty nylon webbing uh, pull strap. And then this is a mild steel bracket that is black zinc plated for durability. Uh, now these will both come either in a plastic sleeve or wrapped in paper. Uh, they're just sort of like this because I was just putzing with them. So. Uh, as far as tools go, you're going to want to use a wrench of some sort. The size doesn't really matter, and you'll see why in a minute. And then uh, I've got a T30 driver here. Um, I've had good luck using just a T30 screwdriver. Uh, some people are finding that uh, 3 8 inch ratchet, um, or even a quarter inch ratchet with a T30 attachment works also. Uh, the screws on the latch from the factory can be kind of tight, so your, uh, your results may vary there. And we'll go ahead and get started with the installation. Now the first step, and the thing that most people notice pretty quickly, is that back here behind the seat, there's not a lot of room to fit your hand. So some people can reach back there and undo the latch um, just by hand. Uh, I cannot. So what we're going to do is this. If you see, when you raise the bottom of the seat up, the back of the seat sort of hinges up there, and then that's going to create enough space for you to reach back and unlatch it. One of the things you're going to want to make sure of is when you lift this up, I recommend lifting it up all the way. You won't have to, um, but lifting it up all the way is going to help you close it more easily the very first time you close it after installation. Uh, we'll show you that in a minute, but uh, I recommend lifting it up all the way if you've got the space to do so. Okay, so here we are, we're looking behind the seat, and uh, I've removed some of the insulation just so that you can see a little bit more easily. Um, I'm also working on a new product that will remove that insulation. But what you can see down here is this is the latch. And uh, that silver pin that you see right there, that's what we're trying to pull. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be able to fit the camera down there along with my hand, but I will give it a shot. There we go. Okay, so you're going to pull up like that. You'll feel it unlatch. And then you're going to want to go around, still holding that up, and I'm going to unlatch this and fold the entire situation down, just like that. Now, what, he, what having the seat up has done all the way is that as the seat back moves up and down, this bar is able to slide. And one of the problems that a lot of people have when they go to relatch it is that the bar is up here, but with the seat bottom down, the latch is trying to catch it uh, closer to this area. So um, when we go to relatch it, we will just simply lift the seat back up to realign the latch and the bar the very first time. After that, it won't matter because you're not having to lift the bottom of the seat to unlatch it. Okay, so now we've got the latch here, as you can see. The idea is that we are going to be attaching the red pull tab to this uh, so that we can grab it from behind the seat. So we'll go ahead and grab our driver and our two pieces here, set those aside, and we'll start by removing these two screws. Now I've had a couple of people email me uh, and the, the tip that they give is not to drop these screws. It, it seems like a... Uh, not a big deal, but apparently it can get lost in the abyss that is this uh, material here, and you are uh, you're on your way to the hardware store. We'll see about putting the specs for these bolts up on our website and the install guide just in case. Okay, so I got both of those out. I'm gonna set those aside for now. We got the latch. You notice that the latch has a tab here, and that tab slips into this square feature in the seat. Um, just take note of that. Now we'll start by assembling this. The first thing that I like to do, I prefer to have 
the uh, this seam facing up, which puts it facing back towards the back of the cab. And go ahead and thread that into the support. It's kind of nicely fit, so it'll keep the the, uh, the strap from falling back through. And so you're trying to assemble it like this. Now, go ahead and slide that on there. Before you slide this over to here, you're going to need to slip this over the pin because this tab kind of locks it on there. So just as you can see now, we're all set. I'm going to go ahead and maneuver it back into place. And there we are. Now these two holes here are very slightly slotted so that you have a little bit of motion here. My recommendation is to leave this about as loose as you need to um, so that you still have some decent interference with that pin. So I wouldn't be afraid to, you know, leave it, I mean really even all the way out like this, but I, I try and land somewhere kind of in the middle there. I'll go ahead and put our two screws back in. Taking note again, of course, of where your um, your slop is. I kind of wanted it in the middle there. Okay, so now we're snug there. And we're going to test the operation. You can do that just by triggering the latch like this. And then we're going to pull like that. Trigger it again. Do that a couple of times just to make sure. Um, one thing that people have found is that if you have the bracket on too tight, the red uh, piece won't have enough space to slip over this tiny little um, stamped feature on the latch. So if you're finding that's the case, I recommend you readjust this with a little bit of the um, slots so you leave it a little bit looser here. You also could, if you wanted to, just bend that a little bit like that. Um, either one of those solutions is going to work just fine, but we did kind of take that into account with the small slots here. So, we're fully installed, and we're going to lift this back up. Now remember, we need to hit that crossbar in the latch. So what I'm going to do to lift this up is I'm actually lifting around the bottom and I'm going to lift the seat back up and I'm going to give it a firm shut there and then I can drop the seat back down right away. We should be good to go. Unlatch it. We're down. The bar is back where it should be. And that's your installation. Thank you very much. Of course, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to send us an email. And get, in contact us, get in contact with us via our, our website or social media. Um, and thanks for watching.